YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Eisenhower's Tactical. Man, back here with a, uh, as you can see, with a uh, border update. Hope y'all can see this. But man, uh, it's crazy, man. I'm gonna drop some video uh, from my man, Desert Operator 556. He lives down by the southern border. Um, very right really next to basically two hours east of san diego and one and a half hour away from yuma and just a couple minutes from calexico mexico so he's right there on the southern border and it's some very disturbing video so the video you guys are seeing you're going to see is not being shown on the major networks and you won't see it on the news because in california they don't want to show all this stuff and uh, it's completely out of control. So when you, I'm gonna drop the video in, and you guys take a look for yourself. And then um, I'll be right back uh, with a, a story I'm gonna share with you what I saw uh, this week coming into work. And uh, it's getting completely out of control. And these 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 uh, migrants, Ill illegals. I'm not gonna call them migrants because. We need to stop saying that because there's an immigration process of getting into countries and this is not the process. This is completely illegal. Um, you can talk to anybody who's ever immigrated to America or came to this country and had to get citizenship and it, it didn't go down like this, man. So these are absolutely illegals and should not be in the country. And um, voting yesterday, I'm, I'm gonna share a little story, but right now, uh, <clears throat> take a look at this disturbing video right here. I'm just, my boy, uh, Desert Operator 556, uh, he shared this on the way. Uh, I think he was coming home from work and he saw this. So stand by. All right, I'm on my way home from work again. And this is what's currently going on. Stand by. Southern border, same place as last time. We could probably do a head count. I'd probably say 30, maybe, I don't know. But here's a kicker. They're using fucking school buses, school buses, to transport these fuckers. I, I just, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. I'm assuming that if you're watching this channel, being a Second Amendment people, <coughs> probably didn't vote for Biden. But if you're one of them that decides to vote for Biden, this is the shit that you get. All right? So you get what the fuck you ask for. This is ridiculous. Coming to a town near you, I'm telling you, stay strapped. We just had somebody going by flipping these people off, screaming at them, hanging out their window. Wish I could have got that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But yeah, this this is uh, the more reason to get familiar with your weapon systems, get prepared. Do what you guys need to do because this shit is coming to your town if it's not already there. I see it where I'm at, all over the place. We got hotels shut down where they house these people. We got homeless veterans that are out on the street, not being taken care of by our government, just to make room for these guys. And okay, guys, I'm back. Yeah, so you saw that, man. And that's right there in El Central, man. That's not too far from San Diego, man. So, uh, it's getting serious, man. And if you looked at it, I don't know if y'all zoomed in on it. Those cats was looking real healthy, military, able bodies. I didn't see no women, no children. Um, now that particular group of migrants, um, I can't, I'm not going to speculate, but it appeared that they were Central American type, maybe Venezuelan looking. I didn't see too many Chinese, but now the next footage I'm going to drop in for you. Um, I'm getting some raw footage and some good information from you, man. So these are from people, regular people, the same from CNN or Fox News report. No, this is regular cats living across the country. Now, that was from the southern border right here in San Diego. But um, 
this next footage I'm about to drop in on you is from my man, uh, Musa, uh, Musa Zakler. Uh, I'm, I'm butchering his name, but it's M-U-S-A. I'll put his uh, YouTube channel in the description, but it's uh, Musa Zakar, A-Z-A. K A R and I'll put him in there. He's a cool brother and he in Georgia. So he's in Pierce County. Anybody from that Georgia area, if y'all know Pierce County, and he put some disturbing footage up on his channel. Um it was a it was a case where it was four illegal Chinese uh in the country got in here somehow and they made it all the way up to Georgia and they weren't here to do no good. They were here, they got caught with one of the largest marijuana busts in Georgia history. I think it was twenty two 22, what was it? Um, I don't know how much it was, but it was a lot, man. 22 something, I don't know. 2,200 pounds or something like that. It wasn't just 22 pounds, because that ain't nothing. I mean, that's just regular street weed. But it, it sounded like that weed might have been laced with some, uh, maybe with some other chemicals or something like that. So, and these cats look shady. So check out the footage I'm about to drop in on that. And, uh, and I'll be back to close out this update with the story I got to share with you. Peace. Georgia, man, can you believe that? They operating, doing what it do. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, man. Like, share, subscribe. Boy, this tripped me out right here, man. This tripped me out, but Georgia law enforcement officials thought they were raiding an illegal food manufacturing plant before discovering 22.5 million of marijuana plants last week, authorities said on Tuesday. Boy, Nico, they were getting in where they fit in. Do you hear me? Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. See, boy, they were getting it in. Up under the table, boy. You feel me? Four Chinese citizens were arrested in connection with a legal marijuana growing facility in Pierce County. Other suspects identified as Zhu Xinbin, Jibin Ma. She choose you and we shall be we're taken into custody. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. So you saw that. And you can go pull up that case in Pierce County. Uh, those four Chinese illegals. Man, it's crazy. So that just goes to show you, man. And like I was telling someone, someone was like, man, all you know, uh, all they all come from Mexico. Man, ain't no motherfucking illegals coming from Mexico. They don't have to do that. I'm going to say that again. Mexican people are not illegals, man. They're Mexican Americans, especially down here by the southern border. They all work here, live here. I work with a bunch of them that live in Tijuana, live in Rosarito. Um, no, they're not illegals. These are all cats coming from China. Uh, in New York City, they got a whole bunch of uh, African cats out there. And then you got, um, it appears in Georgia, a lot of Chinese are coming through the south too. And they're coming through the southern border in California. And they're not coming here with good intentions. So, and I got a theory that I think the reason why they're doing that is because they're sending them to all the, what do you call them, sanctuary states because they have the restricting the, the, the strictest gun laws. So when these cats activate, want to take over, they're going to feel comfortable pulling guns on people in these states because they're going to feel that most of the people aren't armed. So if you're in a restricted state or a sanctuary state, Man, you better real seriously go go to Palmetto State Army and buy you a bunch of AR-15s and some daggers and get ready. Palmetto State Army right now, you can get an AR-15 MOE and a dagger strip, not with optics and all that stuff. You can get both those firearms for under a thousand dollars, man. I mean, Palmetto trying to arm America, man. What did he say? He he wants a little piece of freedom in every American's hand. Come on, man. If you're in a restricted state, you need to be armed. If you're in a free state, you probably just gonna knock on your neighbor's door. Hey, man, can I borrow a Glock? And he's got these illegals coming over here. So you'll be fine. But if you're in a restricted state, chances are your your woke left neighbor ain't going to be uh, strapped. So with that being said, man, we not voted yesterday. And uh, it's all some disturbing it, it, scenes out there. Man, they got people out here. Before not, now, where I voted, they were asking for your ID. But what I'm hearing, the word around California is, I'm hearing Riverside County, San Bernardino County, Los Angeles County, Alameda County up in the Bay Area, uh, San Francisco County, Contra Costa County. I'm hearing they're not even IDing people to vote. So you got people coming over here right now casting ballots, and they're not even citizens. When did somebody make that make sense? When is that? When has that been a thing? When can you vote and not even be a citizen? When, when did that happen? That sure in the hell didn't happen to the Black Americans in this country that 
came out of slavery. We even, we even as slaves coming out of slavery still had to fight for the right to vote. Why do you think the Civil Rights Act was, was enacted? That shit wasn't enacted because of white people and that shit was enacted because the blacks still didn't have rights. So this is kind of disturbing for me because I'm like, my people went through hell to be citizen in this country and had to speak the language and had to do everything else, jump through all these hoops and not even letting motherfuckers just come across here and do what they want. So very, very disturbing. Now, y'all need to pay attention. Uh, if you got the Timu app, you need to delete that shit, get it off your phone. If you got TikTok, you need to get off TikTok and delete that shit. I mean, you can do what you want, but I'm telling you right now, I work in tech, I'm hearing, man, they stealing all your information, using it, all kind of scandalous shit, and then all these all these illegals coming from China, that's what they're here to hack, man. So be careful, man. And uh, what is the other thing that's, that's going on? Um, it's very disturbing. Uh, there's a city up here, right outside of Rolling Hills, if you, uh, not Rolling Hills, jeez, uh, uh, Simi Valley, uh, basically. Palos Verdes, I guess we'll say Palos Verdes. So what's going on now, what is gonna be training? So uh, they're kidnapping people now and holding for hostage. This is the first one I heard. So in Palos Verdes, I guess some kid got abducted and got a rant, got a strange phone call from his parents. And now the media shut it all down because I don't know if y'all know Palos Verdes, super rich area. You can pull it up, Palos Verdes, California. Super elite live there. And they they snatched up one of these, uh, I think he's Persian or Middle Eastern rich kids, snatched, his little, snatched him up and then now they want to demand, want to ransom. So that's what's trending. And they supposedly, the guys who are holding them hostage are, are illegals. Uh, so that's very disturbing. And I don't know if y'all heard about the case of the uh, the, the college student at um, like University of Maryland, somewhere around there. And the, the, the illegal beat her, killed her, brutally beat her, cut her up. And, it, and the dude was not even supposed to be here. He was actually got was in jail in New York City for an assault charge. And then they let him out with a no bail. And then he went down to... I believe Maryland or DC, the North Carolina area, and then he stalked this young lady and chopped her up and killed her, man. So, man, it, it's it's pretty bad, man. And um, when I came in today, I saw a school bus. Now you saw in the first video they're using a school bus, and so I'm thinking this is. I'm like, why is this school bus out? Because I'm coming to work early in the morning. Why is there a school bus out here? And I saw Border Patrol with the white and blue vans, white and green vans with the green Border Patrol symbol, white. And they were all parked by the school bus. Now, where these people were going, I have no clue because they were all lined up on the sidewalk. And I'm telling them they doing this stuff in the, in the wee hours of the night when people ain't up and seeing this crap, man. And so, but I get up early and I saw that and I'm like, what is that all about? And I was going to try the video, but it was so dark, I couldn't get the video. And uh, so I noticed that too, man. And another thing I noticed in, in, in I don't know if it's around the country, they're shutting, the gas stations aren't even open 24 hours no more. A lot of them aren't open. They don't have the attendant. And I talked to this guy. I went, I went to the gas station. Man, why does Chevron ain't got uh, a attendant? He said, man, they cut that shit out because of these illegals. They don't want, they don't, they, they don't want to have the, uh, the, 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 the gas stations open at, on the midnight hours. They all open at 8 o'clock now. So, man, it's a lot of stuff going on. I just want to bring my report, some southern, southern border report, and go by Desert Operator 556 and go by my man Musa. And I put both their uh, YouTube uh, links in the description. And just like I said, if you live in a restricted state or a sanctuary state, whatever they're trying to call it, man, you need to get armed and start practicing and get and stock your ammo up because it's about to go down, man. This is your boy Eisenhower Tactical, man. Everybody stay blessed. Peace.